Hey guys and gals, this is a bug out bag series, part five, uh, tools. So going down the list, we have the Chiapa Little Badger, uh, 22 lawn rifle single shot break open. Uh, this is highly modified with uh, ammo pouch in the back that holds 100 rounds of 22 ammunition. Uh, holds three rounds on the side on this little pouch I made. Uh, custom paint job. Uh, you'll also notice that there's a Jeff White thumb scanner. Convex uh, grind to it, very sharp. We have the uh, LT Wright knives. Uh, stealth. I carry a fixed blade knife every day, so I don't see the need for a giant fixed blade knife in here. So this does quite, quite fine. I have a Gerber diesel multi-tool. Uh, I love Gerber and I love SOG for multi-tools, since you can cut through a lot, a lot of wire with them. Um, this one has a blade replaced on it that is a typical profile, um, which I like. I have some snare wire that's pre-made here. There's five of them. I have a pocket fishing kit, or hobo fishing kit. Um, it's uh, pretty, you can find these all over the place. Blackthorn USA has them for sale. Uh, I have some red uh, thread in there. You can buy it at Walmart for really cheap, and that can, will kind of sight the fish if you're not having any luck. Um, I have two Glock 43 mags in here. I have a very simple clean kit I put together. Let's see there. COP wipe. All this is Otis. Um, the Otis makes some really great stuff. I have some metal ma mouse traps. You can use these to set off glow sticks. Um, you can probably also rig these up to set off 22s um, if you had a little bit of know how. I have a bird call. You can find these on Amazon um, for pretty cheap. I have uh, a needle and thread. This is Kevlar thread. And it's just enough to make some repairs or whatever if you need to. I have a uh, folding razor and slash saw uh, from ITS Tactical. I have a Silcock key. This is for opening uh, water valves on industrial buildings. Um, very handy for urban survival. I have a copper cap. Uh, copper can be used for a lot of different things. Um, you can also uh, use this flint napping along with this copper nail. These are pretty brittle, but a few uses. I have two lures. Uh, these are probably uh, have the best luck with these. Crawdad, a little minnow. I have a Jasper sharpening stone. Uh, this is pretty typical what uh, Vikings would use to sharpen. It's very, very fine, um, very smooth stone. I have a DMT uh, diamond sharpening stone. One side is coarse, the other is fine. Um, pretty handy. Uh, I have a metal straw. Uh, so this metal straw can be used for obvious reasons, but it can also be used as a weapon if sharpened at one end, and it can also be used as a bellow if you want to get some a little bit higher temperatures. I have a titanium spork. Um, this is a snow peak. I have some leader wire. Um, this is pretty handy for a few things. I have a diamond uh, file. I have an 
ITS tactical handcuff key. That's Balmer. Um, love these. I have a handcuff shim. I have bump keys from uh, Sparrow Slot Picks. Um, also have a, a Warden Picks, I believe. I have auto jiggler keys. I have a uh, variety of tension wrenches. These are from Rare Element Law Picks. Uh, the way this is the hoodoo, and there's a high reach there. Very thin. Um, you can probably get into Euro locks. I never messed with any European locks, but love these. I have a variety of their cheaper uh, picks um, City Rake, High Reach, Diamond Tip. Um, you got Snake and a Worm from their website, Sparrow Slot Picks. I also have the Warlock, which was designed uh, with a um, rare elements. Uh, you can also use this, use this for uh, ward locks, I believe, or wafer locks. I have a bump hammer for the bump keys. I have a uh, comb picks. Um, comb picks are kind of for older locks, since a lot of the newer locks are preventing you from putting the comb in there. But essentially, they just push both set of pins out of the cylinder so you can rotate it. Um, I have about 40 and 50 millimeter. I have a gym for certain types of doors. Uh, handy to have, doesn't take up a lot of room. I have a tungsten carbide bead on uh, elastic line to break glass. Not the most efficient way, but you can do it. I have hotel keys, uh, essentially um, whatever kind of lock you have, you can put one of these in and then you uh, can take part of it out and it will block the keyway and no one else can get in the room until you come back with the exact key, which is pretty handy. Um, I have Quickset, Yale, Wiser, and Schlag. I have some interior keys. Um, this is for interior doors to open those up. Uh, no one really thinks about that until they come up to one and then they have to find something uh, to get in there. So it's just handy having those. I have a tick key down here and I have a push bar style uh, lock. Uh, a lot of uh, big places will have push bars instead of having handles for doors in case there's an emergency. I also have a metal handcuff key and a, and a P38 can opener. And I believe that's everything. Thanks for watching.